What if I told you that beneath the world's most barren deserts lie secrets so shocking they could rewrite human history? What if the footprints of people who lived 23,000 years ago are preserved in sand dunes, challenging everything we thought we knew about when humans first reached the Americas? What if ancient pharaohs were buried with jewelry made from cosmic glass created by a meteorite impact 29 million years ago? And what if there's evidence that a comet explosion just 12,000 years ago turned miles of desert into twisted glass formations that early humans may have actually witnessed? I'm about to take you on a journey to six of the most mind-blowing archaeological discoveries ever made in desert sands. These aren't the famous pyramids or well-known ruins you've heard about. These are the lesser-known finds that archaeologists are calling impossible, shocking, and game-changing. But here's what makes this even more incredible. Most of these discoveries have happened in just the last few years. We're literally rewriting the textbooks as we speak. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why some scientists are saying we need to completely rethink everything we thought we knew about ancient civilizations, human migration, and even cosmic events that shaped our planet. And so buckle up because we're about to uncover secrets that have been buried for thousands of years, waiting for the right technology and the right moment to shock the world. But before we dive into these mind-blowing discoveries, I need to tell you about something that happened in 2002 that would change archaeology forever. Picture this. You're flying over one of the most hostile environments on Earth, the Rub al Khalid Desert, known as the Empty Quarter. It's a quarter of a million square miles of nothing but sand. No life, no water, no hope of survival if you're stranded there. But in 2002, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum the ruler of Dubai was flying over this wasteland when something caught his eye. Something that shouldn't have been there. Strange dune formations. A large black deposit. In a place where there should be nothing but endless sand. Now, here's where this gets interesting. For over a thousand years, this region has been associated with one of the most famous lost cities in history. The Arabs called it Ubar. The British officer T. Lawrence called it the Atlantis of the Sands. A city of immeasurable wealth that was supposedly destroyed by God and swallowed by the desert. Most people thought it was just a legend, a myth, a story told around campfires. They were wrong. What Sheikh Mohammed had spotted from his aircraft was the first evidence of a 5,000-year-old civilization buried just 10 feet beneath the sand. A civilization so advanced that it had organized settlements, roadways, and sophisticated metallurgy that was cutting-edge technology 5,000 years ago. But here's what makes this discovery absolutely mind-blowing. Researchers used something called synthetic aperture radar technology to see beneath the sand without even digging. They sent energy pulses into the ground and measured what bounced back, creating detailed images of what was hidden below. And what they found changed everything. This wasn't just a simple settlement. This was evidence of a complex, interconnected society with copper and iron smelting operations, trade networks, and infrastructure that rivals anything we thought existed in that time period. The legendary Atlantis of the Sands wasn't a myth. It was real and it had been hiding beneath our feet for 5,000 years. But if you think that's shocking, wait until you hear about what archaeologists found in New Mexico that's making them question the entire timeline of human history. Discovery 2, the footprints that broke archaeology. We're now in New Mexico at White Sands National Park. It's one of the most beautiful and otherworldly places in America. Pure white gypsum sand dunes that look like something from another planet. But in 2019, a team of archaeologists made a discovery here that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A discovery so controversial that it's still being debated in academic journals today. They found footprints, human footprints, preserved in what used to be the muddy shores of an ancient lake. Now you might be thinking, okay, so what? People have been walking around for a long time. But here's the thing that's making archaeologists lose their minds. These footprints are 23,000 years old. Let that sink in. 23,000 years old. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, for decades, scientists have believed that humans first arrived in the Americas around 13,000 years ago. 
It's been the foundation of everything we thought we knew about human migration. These footprints don't just challenge that theory. They completely destroy it. If these footprints are real, and if the dating is correct, then humans were walking around North America during the last glacial maximum, when massive ice sheets covered most of the continent. That means our ancestors had maritime technology and navigation skills that we never gave them credit for. But here's where it gets even more incredible. The scientific community was so skeptical of this discovery that they demanded extraordinary proof. So the researchers went back. They used three different dating methods. They sent samples to multiple independent laboratories. And every single test came back with the same result. 23,000 years old. One of the doctoral students who worked on the project said it best. It basically contradicts everything that we've been taught about the peopling of North America. But if you think ancient human footprints are mind-blowing, wait until you hear about the cosmic glass that was found in King Tutankhamun's tomb and the 100-year-old mystery that scientists just solved. Discovery 3, the Pharaoh's Cosmic Jewelry, November 1922. Howard Carter peers through a small hole into King Tutankhamun's burial chamber and sees wonderful things. Among the countless treasures, there's a beautiful golden breastplate with a carved scarab beetle at its center. For nearly 100 years, that scarab beetle held a secret that would puzzle scientists and lead to one of the most shocking discoveries about cosmic events in Earth's history. The scarab was carved from mysterious yellow glass found scattered across hundreds of kilometers in the Libyan desert. Beautiful, translucent, and unlike anything else on Earth. But here's the question that haunted scientists for a century. How was this glass formed? The glass required temperatures above 1,600 degrees Celsius to form. That's hotter than any volcanic activity on Earth. There was no impact crater in the area. No obvious explanation for how ordinary sand could be transformed into this cosmic glass. Some scientists thought it might have been created by an airburst, a cosmic object exploding in the atmosphere like a nuclear bomb. Others insisted it had to be a meteorite impact, even though they couldn't find the crater. The mystery remained unsolved for nearly a century. Until 2019, scientists at Curtin University made a breakthrough using a technique called electron backscatter diffraction. They found evidence of a rare mineral called rheodite within the glass. And here's the kicker. Rheodite only forms during meteorite impacts. It's like a fingerprint that can't be faked. The cosmic glass in King Tut's tomb was created by a meteorite impact 29 million years ago. An impact so powerful it melted sand across an area larger than Luxembourg and the created glass so beautiful that ancient Egyptians treasured it enough to include it in a pharaoh's burial chamber. Think about that. A cosmic catastrophe that happened 29 million years ago created glass that was later discovered, shaped, and treasured by one of history's most famous civilizations, only to reveal its cosmic origins to modern science nearly 4,000 years later. But if you think a 29 million year old cosmic impact is incredible, wait until you hear about the comet explosion that happened just 12,000 years ago and may have been witnessed by early humans. Discovery 4 the comet that turned desert to glass. We're now in the Atacama Desert of Chile, the driest place on Earth. It's so dry that NASA uses it to test Mars rovers because it's the closest thing we have to an alien environment. But 12,000 years ago, this desert witnessed something that would make any science fiction movie look tame. Imagine you're an early human living in what was then a grassland with rivers and wetlands. It's a normal day. You're going about your business when suddenly, the sky explodes. A comet, traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour, detonates in the atmosphere above you with the force of multiple nuclear weapons. The explosion creates a fireball that briefly outshines the sun. Temperatures on this. Ground spike to over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds rivaling the most powerful tornadoes tear across the landscape. And in minutes, 46 miles of desert are transformed into twisted, folded glass formations that look like something from another world. This isn't science fiction. This actually happened. And we have the evidence. 
For years, scientists couldn't figure out what had created these bizarre glass formations in the Atacama Desert. The glass was clearly formed by extreme heat and wind, but what could generate such conditions? Then, in 2021, researchers made a breakthrough. They analyzed the glass and found minerals that matched samples collected by NASA's Stardust mission from Comet Called Wild 2. The Atacama Desert glass was created by a comet airburst. The first confirmed evidence on Earth of glass formed by a comet explosion. But here's the most incredible part. This happened just 12,000 years ago. Early humans had already reached South America by then. There's a very real possibility that people witnessed this cosmic catastrophe and survived to tell the tale. Imagine being one of those early humans, seeing the sky explode and the desert turn to glass. Imagine trying to explain that to your children, your grandchildren. Imagine how that story would be passed down through generations. But cosmic catastrophes aren't the only shocking discoveries hiding in desert sands. Sometimes, what's buried tells us incredible stories about ancient politics, trade, and the sophisticated civilizations that existed thousands of years ago. Discovery 5, the Tax Collector's Pyramid. Just this year, in 2025, Israeli archaeologists made a discovery that's being called one of the richest archaeological finds ever made in the Judean desert. They found a pyramid. Not in Egypt. Not in Mexico. In the Israeli desert, just north of the Dead Sea. Now, at first, they thought it was just another tomb. The Middle East is full of ancient burial sites. But as they kept digging, they realized this was something completely different. This pyramid was built 2,200 years ago with hand-cut stones, each weighing over 400 pounds. It rises 20 feet above the desert floor and sits in one of the most strategically important locations in the ancient world. But here's what makes this discovery absolutely fascinating. This wasn't a tomb or a temple. It was a tax collection station. Picture this. 2,200 years ago, this region was controlled by the descendants of Alexander, the great generals. The pyramid sat on a main trade route between Jordan and Gaza. Every merchant, every caravan, every trader had to pass by this imposing structure. And inside, Ptolemaic officials were collecting taxes, keeping records, and getting very, very rich. The archaeologists found Greek papyrus documents that are likely tax records, bronze coins from competing empires, luxury goods from across the Mediterranean, even a pet cemetery with 17 dogs and cats showing that families lived and worked at this remote desert outpost. This discovery shows us that even 2,200 years ago, governments understood the importance of controlling trade routes and collecting taxes. The sophisticated bureaucracy, the strategic location, the wealth of artifacts, it all points to a level of organization and international connection that rivals anything we see today. But if you think a tax collection pyramid is impressive, Wait until you hear about the ancient city that proves globalization isn't a modern invention. Discovery 6, the ancient global economy. Our final stop takes us to the edge of Egypt's eastern desert, where one of the most remarkable cities in human history lies buried beneath the sand. Berenike, founded 2,300 years ago as a port for importing war elephants. But it quickly became something much more extraordinary. This was the world's first truly global city. Archaeologists have been excavating Berenike for 30 years, and what they found challenges everything we think we know about ancient civilizations. Peppercorns from India, ship timbers made of teak from southern India and cedar from Lebanon, pottery and textiles from across Asia, gold and pearls from the Persian Gulf, marble from Turkey, glass from Rome. But here's the mind-blowing part. They found evidence of 12 different written languages, including one that we still can't identify. Personal letters from worried mothers. Business contracts that would make modern lawyers proud. A pet cemetery showing that families made their lives in this remote desert port. This wasn't just a trading post. This was a cosmopolitan city where people from Europe, Africa, and Asia lived, worked, raised families, and created the world's first global economy. Researchers estimate that over $10 trillion worth of goods passed through Berenike. During its 800-year history, 
ships carrying 75 tons of cargo each, sailing from Spain to Indonesia, using monsoon winds to navigate across the Indian Ocean. Globalization isn't a modern invention. It's not something that started with the internet or even with European exploration. 2,000 years ago, in a city now buried beneath Egyptian sand, people were already living in a connected, international, multicultural world.